Hello everybody, welcome to Tech Tuesday. This one is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> when I started this channel, the king of YouTube was not Mr. Beast. It was Casey Neistat, and I try to copy his gear. One Joby camera tripod. The Canon 70D camera. A pair of sunglasses, preferably Ray-Ban. And finally, the road shotgun mic. Okay, technically it was not the video mic go, it was the video mic pro that he had, but I was broke, so like, give me a little bit of a little... So that brings us to this mic right here, the Rode Video Mic Go, and it's kind of, kind of beautiful, you know? So you can currently buy this one brand new for about 50, 55, 56 bucks um, off Amazon or off whatever you want to buy it off of, right? Uh, but if you go to eBay, you can get some of these for about like $35, which... It's pretty, really great. And then I have this fluffiness, which is called a Dead Cat Go. Um, it costs $30. So if you buy it for 35 off eBay used, and then you go ahead and put this on there, you're about 65 bucks in, which pretty much is not bad. So let's just do a quick overview. You have your cold shoe mount, right? It doesn't hook up in anything. It just literally attaches to your camera. It's on this lovely little shock mount you got here. And then on the back, you have this 3.5 jack, TRC jack, um, and that's, that's it, this is the microphone. This is a little dinky thing. No batteries, which is one of the best things about this microphone. Uh, you just plug it in, you use the phantom power, and it sounds pretty decent. As always with my tech reviews, I really don't go into the specifics of it, so I'll have that link down in the description below if you wanna go ahead and check those out. But I really don't care about that, I care about how it feels. So how does it feel, or how does, in this case, how does it sound? So in my dining room with a tall ceiling, this is what the, video mic go sounds like. Now in the same room, and this is what the Canon 70D onboard microphone sounds like. So this is the audio in my backyard. This is the audio inside of a closet. This is the audio outside of a car. And this is the audio from my couch. Um, now let's go compare it to some other microphones. So first, people would laugh if you wrote a draft or mounted the back of an ox. It's nobody's habit to ride on a rabbit or bestraddle a fox, but a camel comes handy wherever it's sandy, even if wearing some socks. People would laugh if you rode a giraffe or mounted the back of an ox. It's nobody's habit to ride on a rabbit or try to bestraddle a fox, but a camel comes handy wherever it's sandy, even wearing some socks. People would laugh if you rode a giraffe or mounted the back of an ox. It's nobody's habit to ride on a rabbit or try to bestraddle a fox, but a camel comes handy wherever it's sandy, whenever it's wearing some socks. People would laugh if you rode a giraffe or mounted the back of an ox. It's nobody's habit to ride on a rabbit or try to bestraddle a fox, but a camel comes handy wherever it's sandy, even wearing some socks. People would laugh if you rode a giraffe or mounted the back of an ox. It's nobody's habit to ride on a rabbit or try to bestraddle a fox, but a camel comes handy wherever it's sandy, even while wearing some socks. People would laugh if you rode a giraffe or mounted the back of an ox. It's nobody's habit to ride on a rabbit or try to bestraddle a fox, but a camel comes handy wherever it's sandy, even if wearing socks. Okay, so obviously it's not my best mic. We just heard all those other mics. It's not the best mic, but it is a very usable mic, a very solid mic, and especially in this environment. I use this little lavalier mic just because I don't want to use this microphone in here. But if you're out going around town, whatnot, and you spend the time in your software kind of honing that audio down, I really don't. I have terrible audio. I like good audio right out of the gate, and so you can make this sound really, really great, but it sounds pretty good when you don't do much to it, when you're not just in a giant freaking open room that sucks all of the sound out. So in conclusion, if you need a small shotgun mic and you don't wanna worry about the batteries, right? This is a pretty good microphone, especially for those who are on a budget for about, what, 65? You could probably find this dead cow uh, cover for cheaper than that $30 brand new price. And some of those used ones might already have them on there. Uh, but let's just say you had a little bit more cheddar. What would I tell you to buy? Well, I would tell you to buy the Rode VideoMic Go 2. So, so the successor to this one. And why do I say that? So they both have kind of the same dealio, like no power, kind of easy, lightweight, right? So it's not going to find the best, but what it does offer is a USB plug-in that you can plug straight into your computer. And then you can actually use the audio jack as a uh, like audio monitoring uh, jack. So that's super cool. It makes it like one big setup, but used it's about 80 bucks and brand new is about $100. So you have to be wary about that. But 
If you have the extra cheddar, I would go for the second one just for that extra viability because you could use it for podcasting or a microphone for just say Discord, right? Where this, you could go ahead and theoretically get a long wire and wire it up, um, but it's just not as user friendly. That's pretty much it. Like now, I don't think if you're going the used way, it's better, right? I if you're if you're going 56 bucks versus like 80 bucks for a used one of the twos, like I would say spend the 30 extra dollars. But if you're going from that 35 dollar to that $80, that's a big difference in price. Like you, you could buy two of these. You could have two different audio sets going at one time. So I don't know what you want to do with that information other than, you know, use it. Come back next week for a beautiful, beautiful Tech Tuesday video. And we have plenty of other videos on our channel right now and upcoming in this week. They're just not tech related. So I love you guys. I hope you have a great one. Go out there and love. Go out there and spread some peace. Go out there and spread some hope. And go out there and just love your fucking neighbors. You know what I mean? Good luck.